All right, Shalom. Shalom. First and foremost, we want to give all honor, praise, and glory to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Ba'ashem, Rekakadash. Double honor to the apostles and elders, great millstone that rule well. Peace and salutation to the hopeful elect, pushing the true doctrine across the four winds of up and all truth and sincerity. <laughs> hey, man, we're going to go into this lesson, man, going into um, that new management is coming, man. And what we mean by that, man, there's going to be a righteous kingdom set up, man. You know what I'm saying? And this is about Jacob and Esau, man. And, and right now, this current uh, uh, rule is being, this is from, the world right now is being ruled and ran by Esau, man, who's a, really a degenerate, who has uh, 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 no righteousness in him, and he's complete, wish, completely <laughs> a wicked individual, man. But you know, hey, hey, well, all this is because our people, man, we, we went off, man. We started worshiping our false idols. You know, other gods following the ways of the heathen, man. So the Lord brought us over here to Babylon for our, our, our punishment, man, to, and uh, uh, go throughout our captivity. But, but you know, and the earth has been completely turned upside down, man, and it's being ran by wickedness, man. But, hey, hey, we have pretty much reached, man, the end of our uh, punishment, man. And the Lord is getting ready to come back. Your house is going to come back, man, uh, and the righteous kingdom be set up, man. That's going to be that due management. On the planet Earth, man. Okay. Bring it up. Make sure it's time. Like Deuteronomy right right 28 and verse 1. And it shall so come, to, come to pass. If thou shalt hearken diligently unto the voice of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah, thou power to observe and do all his commandments which I commanded thee this day, that the Lord thy power will set thee on high above all nations of the earth, man. And right, and that's what we could have had, man. That's how we could have been. But we went off, man. And the Lord also told us what was going to happen if we didn't obey them laws, statutes, and commandments, man. And that's why we're in the predicament we're in now, man. But see, the Lord preserved the remnant, man. And his men has uh, uh, come back to the Father, man. And we're going out on the highways and byways, proclaiming the name of Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shah, man. Prophesying the downfall of America and, 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 and preaching the coming of the Lord, man, to set up a righteous kingdom. Okay, I'm going to jump down to verse 3. He said, Blessed shall thou be in the city, and blessed shall thou be in the field. You know what I'm saying? And uh, that's the kingdom, man. You know what I'm saying? It's the kingdom to our come. You know, you know what I'm saying? The nation of Israel is going to be set above all nations, man. You know what I'm saying? That's the blessing, man. That's that remedy that you're talking about. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Starting with, you, you know what I mean? That's what you got it, brother. It's the book of 2nd Ezra, chapter 6, verse 7. Then answered I and said, What shall be the parting asunder of the times, or when shall be the end of the first and the beginning of it that followeth? And he said unto me, From Abraham unto Isaac, when Jacob and Esau were born of him, Jacob's hand held first the heel of Esau, for Esau is the end of the world, and Jacob is the beginning of it that followeth. And that's going to be that transition of power, man. So you can say something? You said it, you know what I'm saying? You, said, you know, end of that era, you know what I'm saying? Right now, we in the final chapters of Esau's rule. Uh -huh. It really goes into that, you know, it's, it's era, it's rule, it's sovereignty. So that's why it says that another king should be translated from one kingdom to another. Right. It's right. be translated to ours pretty soon. Right? Uh -huh. right. You know what I'm saying? And that, and that a remnant is pulling this kingdom down spiritually, man. That's right. Uh -huh. Bringing down you know strongholds, pulling bring down strongholds, you know? Right. And, and that's why there's, there's going to have to be a righteous uh, uh, kingdom set up, man, because Esau, under his rule, man, he rule in wickedness. He rule in darkness. Everything he does bring death. You know what I'm saying? The people are mourning. Nobody's happy. You know, people walk around with masks on due to a, a virus that's, that's a hoax. You know, not saying it ain't something out there, but it's, it's something coming because that's the devil, man. He's going to bring something out, man. That, that's why, hey, man, we have to keep praying. And, 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 and uh, crying out to Yahweh me outside, man, to come take this man down, man, because he's gonna kill everybody, man. The earth is sick. The earth is not even plenishing out fruit anymore, man. You know, only thing you got growing really, man, is a bunch of damn shrubs and sticker brows. The blackberry vines don't have no uh, berries on. I mean, everything is dying, man, because this man don't give the earth no rest. You know, or nothing, man. So that's why new management has to come, man. Because when you run a business, if that business is not thriving, if that business is always getting a bad report from, you know, whoever checking it or whatever, that business is going to have to be shut down, man. And then what are you going to see? A new Under new management is going to go up soon, man. And that, that place is going to be opened back up, man. 
But see, America's gonna be destroyed. It's not gonna be opened back up. But there's gonna be a, 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 a nation of righteous people ruling the earth, man. Uh, he said, he said, uh, you know, through the spirit of Yahweh, Yahweh, the remnant, the elect man, hopefully, we are exposing this devil nakedness, man. We are exposing this devil sin, man. You know, you know what I'm saying? So, hey, man, we just gotta keep prayed up in the uh, spirit, man, and keep, you know, pushing forward towards this new kingdom. This, Toward this new management, you know what I mean? Yeah, because the, uh, the mouth of the heavenly Father, how about Shem Shah, the mouthpiece, the man of the Lord out there, they're uh, 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 bringing forth just cause and why he's unfit to rule, man. Mm -hmm. How he's unfit to manage this current world, man. I got a priest about this. This is Isaiah 2 and 1. And, and it shall come to pass in the last days that the mountain of the Lord, Yahweh's house, shall be established in the top. Of the mountains, yeah, yeah, yeah. the mountains go to a kingdom. You know what I'm saying? Goes to a rulership, man. Yeah. Government. Yeah, government, really. Yeah. It's the management. Yeah, yeah. yeah. At the end of like a mountain, you have this, like the, you know, Esau side, they have like a summit. Yeah. You know, it goes to the peak. Right. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So in this kingdom, uh, we're gonna get it. Daniel second chapter 44 verse. It's gonna never be taken down. That's mm -hmm. the everlasting kingdom. Mm -hmm. And shall be exalted above the hills, and all nations shall flow into it. And many people shall go and say, Come you, and let us go up to the mountain of the Lord Yahweh, to the house of the Most High of Jacob, and he will teach us of his ways, and we will walk in his paths. For out of Zion shall go forth the law and the word of the Lord Yahweh from Jerusalem. Uh, I mean, like, like, like the laws, for following the laws and statutes of the Most High, there's a reward behind that. So these are the nations is trying to follow these law statutes and commandments so the most high can have mercy on them. No, that okay. just goes into like the rulership right, right, of, course, of yeah. the you know the right. kingdom of heaven. Right, right, right. Because basically our law, our government is gonna rule the minds of right. these nations in the kingdom of heaven. Mm -hmm. Just and like we got mind them. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. We yeah. gotta follow their ways. That's you right. know what I'm saying? If we don't pay our taxes or anything like that, our bills, what they do with us, you know, right. they, they penalize us. Going right. back to this point. Right. So in the kingdom, right. so like you said, in the kingdom, they gonna here because they wanna get blessed too. You're right. Right, you know what I'm saying? I mean, there's judgment for not following the law, statutes, and commandments. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, and, and they don't want that judgment, man. So, I mean, so they want to flow to the hills of uh, Zion, man. That's right. You got it, bro. I got one for you, uh, This is the book of 2nd Ezra, chapter 2, verse 13. It says, Go, and ye shall receive, pray for a few days unto you, that they may be shortened. The kingdom is already prepared for you. Watch. Short days brings what? The downfall of this king. New management. So, yeah, a new management. And that's what we're supposed to be in the spirit of begging the most high to speed up the time frame so we can be under that management of Yahweh Shah and Lord will be already hopefully left. Uh, okay. That's showing you that Yahweh Shah, Shah, he's on our side because look how these days going by so fast. Mm -hmm. right. You got people in the world saying, man, it was just Monday. You know what I'm saying? Right. They be saying stuff like that. Yeah. Now, that's the most high speed of time. And he's so beautiful. How when we be set in our kingdom, time will go by slow. You know what I'm saying? Everything will move just like normal, but slow. You know what I'm saying? gonna allow us to enjoy our kingdom, man. When the wicked is uprooted out of the earth. Yeah. Mm -hmm. you know, that's my precept. Yeah, we'll write that. This is Daniel chapter two, verse forty-four. And in the, and in the days of the of these kings, shall the Lord Yahweh of heaven set up a kingdom which shall never be destroyed. That's the kingdom of heaven. Yeah, in the everlasting kingdom, meaning what? The Most High's will is done on earth as it is in heaven during this time. All right. And the kingdom shall not be left to another people. Why? Because that goes to show to you we're people. programmed righteous, all right, and therefore we'll never see. So therefore we can't die, and therefore we'll have an everlasting kingdom. But it shall break in pieces and consume all the kingdoms, and it shall stand forever. So we're... Actually, Yahweh is coming. He's going to take the world. He's going to take the kingdom and give it to the elect. Right. So what it says in Revelation, he should have many crowns upon his head. Mm -hmm. yeah. He's going to take down every nation that's in league right now. He's going to set up his own. Kingdom. That's right. 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 Place him his feet. Mm -hmm. yeah, All right, come on. It's the book of Romans, chapter 8, and this verse 17. It says, And the children, the heirs, heirs of Yahweh, and joint heirs with Hamashiach Yahweh Shai, if so be that we suffer with him, 
that we may be also glorified together. So this is like an investment, you know what I'm saying? We put, you know, you know, we uh pretty much left out the stuff that's going on to our old world, becoming that new man. So this is our bits on your house shot. So this is part of the investment. So once he get those dividends back, then those joint ass that invested their money or their time or their lives into this business, they're gonna get um, you know recompense for it. That's right. Mm -hmm. You know? So your house shot, that's showing us how much love he has for his elect because what he's getting. This let me gonna get as well. That's right. right. That's why. That's why he said that I go and prepare a place for you. For you. That's right. you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Oh, will y'all edify all praises too? Yahweh, Bashem, Yahushat, Bashem, Rakhadash, and double honor to the apostles, the elders, salutations to the youth, and self-honest teaching, the truth and the sincerity. Shalom. Shalom.